Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Nintendo Switch specifications. Now we're not talking about SD card storage or how much memory it's gonna have. We're gonna talk about the graphics processing unit and the APU and CPU, which I consider the Nintendo Switch being an APU. It's a Tegra processor, which has an integrated GPU inside. It's not dedicated, it's just one whole thing. So those are called APUs. It's also what the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 has. It's an APU, it's basically a CPU and GPU working at the same time in one BGA chip. Now, in comparison, I'm gonna be using Intel HD Graphics 4600, and we wanna see how well does the Intel HD 4600 perform. Now, you could get yourself a laptop, like an, a laptop with an AMD APU or an Intel HD Graphics laptop for $300. That's gonna perform similar to Intel HD 4600, so this is gonna be a fair comparison, and it's more reasonable, because the Nintendo Switch is in the price range of a $300 portable device, and we're gonna to have to look at tablets or laptops that are worth around $300, and can play video games. Now considering that it's only 720p, it says a lot about how it's going to perform as well as a $300 laptop. Actually, no, that's a bit bullshit. But you guys get the point. We're gonna compare it more realistically to something that's worth in the same price range and considered portable. So let's get right into it. The game that we chose in today's video is going to be Far Cry 3, developed by Ubisoft, and it's very well optimized for the Intel HD 4600. We also overclocked our Intel HD 4600 to 1.5 GHz, which is around one teraflop of compute performance, and it kind of simulates the one teraflop that's gonna be in the Nintendo Switch, and it is a fair comparison to around a $300 budget laptop. And so, looking at Far Cry 3 medium settings, it looks similar to Zelda Breath of the Wild, and running at the same frame rate at around 900p. You get around 30 FPS, sometimes it would dip down to around 20, but only when you're in those grassy environments. And this is overclocked to one teraflop of compute performance. The only difference I would actually say, and the reason why Nintendo Switch might perform better than the Intel HD 4600 in video games, is because you could do split screen and stuff, and you're still gonna get a solid 60 frames per second. Now the reason why this is possible is because the Nintendo Switch's uh, 256 CUDA cores, which I assume that it's 256 CUDA cores because that's what we see in the previous type of processors, so let's just go ahead and speculate that it is 256 CUDA cores. It's more than the 20, cu uh, the 20 cores that are integrated into the Intel HD graphics. So Intel HD graphics will perform in terms of split screen worse than the Nintendo Switch, but the Nintendo Switch would perform similar when you're just looking at a single frame of gameplay footage. So yeah, looks similar, performs similar, which is a fair comparison, and that's gonna be it for my conclusion. The Nintendo Switch, is similar to a $300 budget laptop in terms of performance. Anyways, I'm gonna have to wrap up my video and enough talking right now. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. If you didn't like, you're gonna smack that dislike because I don't mind. And I'm not gonna feed the trolls, so I don't care if you guys comment shit on my, in my comment section. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll catch everybody in the next one. Nintendo Switch is gonna be coming up March 3rd, and I'm gonna be unboxing it. I'll see you all next time.